Greetings from Geneva, where we have just concluded the 49th session of the UN Human Rights Council. I am proud to represent the United States as we fully re-engage at the Council. I'm taking on this role at a time when respect for human rights and the very principles of the United Nations are under enormous threat. Just as I arrived in Geneva, Russia illegally invaded Ukraine, launching an unprovoked war with devastating humanitarian and human rights consequences. The Council's response was swift and strong. Mere days after the invasion, we voted overwhelmingly to condemn Russia's aggression and launch a commission of inquiry into violations, abuses, and crimes committed in the context of that aggression. While Russia's war rightly dominates headlines, the U.S. has been clear that we must remain focused on the other dire human rights situations around the world. My team and I are driven by the belief that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. As the daughter and granddaughter of Holocaust survivors, I have a profound understanding of the need to forcefully call out human rights violations and abuses wherever they occur. This is why we have championed dozens of resolutions at the Council. Some were dedicated to protecting the rights of marginalized communities and human rights defenders. Others addressed human rights challenges in specific countries, such as Nicaragua, Belarus, and Syria, among sadly many others. This may all seem a bit abstract. What can a resolution do to help actual people on the ground? The answer is a lot. Let me give you one concrete example. This session, we passed a resolution renewing the Commission on Human Rights in South Sudan. The Commission is a trusted resource that gives survivors the critical opportunity to be heard. Since 2016, it has investigated, recorded, and publicized the horrific acts of violence perpetrated in South Sudan. The Human Rights Council is based on the principle that no country is above scrutiny of its human rights record. That includes the United States. The United States is deeply dedicated to addressing racial injustice and inequities at home and abroad. I am honored to be here at this critical time, advancing a key U.S. foreign policy goal, the protection and promotion of human rights for all.